Hello everybody, this is Lying. Today's video is log day number 176 and for this video I wanted to show you how to add page numbers to your document in Adobe InDesign. So here I have my documents all set up and you can see on the bottom right corner I've got my page number and um, it's on every page in the same exact spot, same font, ever, etc. So how do I do that? Well, this is how. Let's go and uh, go to our pages, and we're just going to start from scratch. We'll get rid of all these. Bloop. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into this thing called the A Master. Um, I think every document that you create with InDesign has a master page. So we're going to go in here, and inside the master page, we're just going to delete everything that's inside and then we'll go back to our page one. So we're currently on our page one and let's just put some text in here. This is page one. Okay. All right. And then we'll make a new page and has no text in it, it's blank. And we'll say this is page two. And now you're wondering why did I just do that? You know, we want to put page numbers. Yep, this is true. We are going to still do that. I just wanted to show that, you know, these are individual pages and I haven't done anything to them yet aside from putting this, you know, manually placed in text. But what you should notice right now is in the Pages tab, there's a little letter A in them. And so what that's saying is that there is a master page that's connecting the two. Uh, it's sort of like a template. So A master is like A master template. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the A master template by clicking, double clicking on it. And now um, we're just going to put in a color on the bottom of the page. So we're going to take a little rectangle tool and Let's just choose a color. So we've got yellow. We'll just stick with that. And then, uh, real quickly, without even doing any text page in information, we're going to double click on that one, page one. So you can see this is page one, and it's got the yellow on the bottom. And then this is page two, and it's got the yellow on the bottom. So the A master template puts it in there. So now, how do we get it that we have a page number on the bottom? So what you do is you're going to select the type tool and you see that there's like a blinking cursor inside of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on type. We're going to go and insert a special character, go to markers, and then the current page number. So uh, there's a number in there, but let's make it larger so you can see it. All right, so it's 72 point and let's put it in the bottom right corner and right now it says A because that's our A master but if we double click and go to page one boom it says page one over there and click on page two and it says page two and now you know just for argument's sake if we go and add in a new page using the current template boom page three see it says three and four so that's how you add a page number using your master template. All right, well, I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below this video. That's news for now, and I'll speak to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.